Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, March 24th. We are working on our Easter unit. So before you do your peeping bunny that I sent home to you, for you, we are going to read a story today called The Bad Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny was feeling sad and this had turned his bright pink fur blue. Easter was not fun for him anymore. Each year, his job was to carry and hand out presents to all the children. He struggled to hold on to the gifts and stumbled under their weight. The children would crowd around and greedily grab the toys, sweets, brightly colored chocolate eggs, and delicious candy, and they never said thank you. How do you think that made the Easter Bunny feel? One little boy snatched a shiny gold chocolate egg so fast that he knocked the Easter Bunny to the ground. Wobbling, the Easter Bunny stood and saw all the colors of the rainbow before settling on red. He felt very, very mad, and his fur now glowed a bright, angry red. The Easter Bunny had snapped, and he no longer wanted to be the nice, present-giving Easter Bunny. He would now be the bad Easter Bunny. B-E-B -E for short, and only do bad things. B.E.B. -E hopped up and down on the remaining toys until they were broken into tiny pieces. He ate the chocolate eggs, scattering the empty wrappers with wicked glee. The street was a mess, and the children ran home. He hopped throughout the neighborhood doing very, very bad things. Suddenly, feeling dizzy, B.E.B. -E sat down on the sidewalk. His fur turned a sickly green color and his ears drooped. He looked at the trashed neighborhood with the broken toys and empty candy wrappers and no longer felt red with anger. A little girl on a scooter saw the mess and the sick Easter Bunny. Why are they all broken toys and candy wrappers everywhere? she asked. B.E.B. -E replied, I was mad that no one appreciated me, so I decided to be the bad Easter Bunny. I appreciate you, said the little girl, throwing her arms around him. They gave each other a huge hug. Just because someone doesn't always say they are grateful doesn't mean that they are not. Tears fell from B.E.B.'s eyes and his fur began to turn blue again. He realized he'd been foolish and silly, ruining all the presents and the holiday. B.E.B. -E wanted to give the little girl a present, but there didn't seem to be anything left. He crawled into the giant sack looking to see if there might be something that wasn't broken or eaten. As the Easter Bunny swung his flashlight, he spotted a bright red shiny wrapper glittering in the darkness. It was an unopened piece of candy. This is for you, said B.E.B., -E -B, who no longer wanted to be a bad bunny. The little girl was delighted and said the words the Easter Bunny had begun longing to hear. Thank you. On hearing those magic words, the Easter Bunny began to change color. He went from pale blue to bright pink. The little girl broke the piece of candy in half for them to share. At that moment, the Easter Bunny realized that being bad will never solve your problems and that thank you are the nicest words in the world. The end. So how can we be nice to people today? Can we say please and thank you?